Hello, Julie here from Who Gives a Cluck. Now, today I want to be showing you how to ferment your grains for your chookies. A very important reason for doing it. Why would you bother fermenting? A couple of reasons. Here's the first one. If you're going to give your chooks non-fermented grain and seed, this is how much per hen you'd give them a day. Around about 120, 130 grams of grain and pellet. If you ferment, see the difference? So the first thing is, you're saving 25 to at least 30% of your feed bill. That's pretty handy. The second one is lectins. Just like humans, we can get leaky gut syndrome. So can chooks, dogs, a lot of animals, but chooks can. And in the wild, they weren't used to eating just grain every day. So the less grain, the better for them. And when you ferment, it's like us having fermented grains, fantastic for your tummy and your gastrointestinal tract. And remember when they lay eggs, they come out the same place the poo does. So let's give them the best feed that we can. When you actually ferment the grains, we get chock full of probiotics and a slurry of vitamin B, vitamin K, all the things that you don't get when you just chuck out seed every day. It's very easy to do. I've been doing it for two, three years now for all my chooks because I keep all the chooks not fit for adoption and I've got up to 80 of them. If I can do it every day, you can do it for five or 10 or 20, okay? So let's do it for the chooks because I think they live longer and without lectins in their gut, they're healthier. Maybe less of that leaky gut syndrome and less of that horrible egg yolk periantitis. Let's just see what happens. So I wanna show you what to do. So firstly, what you're going to do when you ferment is you use grain only. So you'll see here, pellets, you keep separate. You buy grain as one bag and you buy pellets for another. The ratio is four to one. Four grains or three or four serves of grains to one serve of pellets. Now per hen, when you're gonna do this, you would normally do about 100 grams of grain and 30 grams of pellets if you were just giving them dry. When you're fermenting, you can cut that way down to let's say 80 grams maximum of grain per hen per day and 20 grams of pellets makes a very big difference. So what I've done here for you is I have put two jars here. This one is the one that we're going to be, hmm, actually I think it's the other way around. Sorry, I've mixed it up for you. Doesn't matter, just for the show of this. So this is going, oh, I'm going back again. Here we go, let me go again. So this is for five hens. So I've worked out the basis of 80 grams of seed multiplied by five, so that's 400 grams of seed a day. I'll work out exactly what it is, put it in the jar, fill it with water, double to what it is up here. Now this one's been going for two days. So what we do then is, you fill it up, make sure there's enough water. Each day you give it a stir. So if we were stirring it, you stir from the bottom and stir it up like that. If it needs more water, because you want it to have enough water, you put more water in. You actually put the cap on loosely. You want it to be able to breathe, the air to expand, because it becomes gaseous. When you're ready, to actually drain this, it should smell like sourdough. It's got that really, I love it, that lovely yeasty smell. And you'll see there's a bit of a film on top as well. The film is fine. If you haven't done it properly, it'll be moldy and it smells rancid, very different to this lovely yeasty smell. So all we do when we're ready to feed them, grain only, we drain it. Oh, that comes out. So now we have beautiful swollen grains, full of probiotics, BK, everything. So healthy for your chooks. When you're gonna feed it to them, you actually then add in the amount of pellets. These are really important. Don't put them into the fermenting process because they just become sludge. But you would tip them on top, you'd mix them in, mix it all in, and then you can serve your hens this food. You're giving it to them in the morning. That's the one time when they have their grains, fermented grains and feed. 
In the afternoon, give them their treats, their greens, all the lovely things that you want to be able to give them. So, fermenting your grains now, the most important thing to remember is grains only fermented, pellets going after, which is like a vitamin bomb. What I will be doing is, oh, and one more thing. You could do it three days in a row if you want. I've done it three days in the beginning, but I've now found for me two days, I'm getting that lovely yeasty smell. But try three if you like, just watch out for the mold. I'll be doing a whole blog on this so you'll get lots of information and the detail for you to be able to do it, but give it a go right now. And just lastly, a big thank you for Just For Pets. They are our corporate um, sponsor and they are now creating for us, for all our Just For Pets stores, the grain and pellet separately and it's got the Who Gives A Cluck logo on it. So when you buy those grains and pellets from any Just For Pets store, look up justforpets.com.au, find out where the nearest one is to you and you'll be able to get the pellets and you also give a bit of support back to us. Thank you so much for watching and let's do fermenting for our chookies. Bye for now.